Well, good morning, folks. It's Richard Jean, the fishing machine here. Beautiful morning. Sun's out. Cold. It is cold as a dickens. Matter of fact, we've had about two fronts. Boom, boom. Hit the Tennessee Valley, and it's caused it to be cold. I'm going to back up in here. I'm going to tell you what. There's, a, there's some crappie, and they're shallow. And I'm going to tell you, when crappie are real shallow, scattered, whether they're scattered or scoped up, it don't make any difference. What I like to do is twitch for crappie. It's a technique. It's a shallow water technique, um, excuse me, that I use for crappie and have been for years. I use a small floater, two-pound test line. Yeah, you heard me right, two-pound line. I'm having a difficult time right here. Okay, two pound test line, little bitty jig head. I mean a little bitty one. That's a size eight hook. One of my favorite artificials to use when it comes to twitching is a slab tail bait. That's a 1.75 slab tail, pink and white. And I ha also have some blue and white. I'm going to mess around with those two colors and see which one is going to do the best i'm going to the fish is being two feet deep back here in this area i'm just twitching this bait working it real real slow we've been having some extra cold weather extra cold weather and these fish are not going to do a hundred yard dash to catch a bait no way no way, folks. Slow is going to be the deal. Twitch, 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 and let it sit there. Twitch, 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 and let it sit there. This is a perfect bait for this style of fishing, I guarantee you. Let's take a look at it in the water. See that tail? See that? And when I twitch, 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 that's what it's doing. And it's falling back up under the cord or float, whichever way you want to say it is correct. <laughs> and they can't stand it, folks. This is probably the best artificial that I know of to fish under a float is a slap tail. That action on that tail is perfect when it comes to crappie. There he is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is a good one, folks. This is a lot better fish right here. Mm. Looks like a big black crappie. You talking about doing some fighting. That's a big black crappie. Look here. They, boy, he eat that slab tail. They can't stand that bait, folks. Meaning, in a good way, they love it. Look at there, what a beautiful, beautiful crappie. Man, old man. He eat that bait pretty good too. Now I'm gonna tell you personally, I like I love to catch them right there. That is a perfect place right in the roof of the mouth. This is a number eight, size eight sickle hook. Small, but it don't make any difference. When it digs in right there at the roof of their mouth like that, they're caught. There's no doubt about it. Let's let him go right here. Gently put him back. That's a pretty fish right there. Beautiful. Beautiful fish. <sighs> Tell you what. Nothing like it, folks. Bursal can't catch him. He's, he's getting older. He's getting tender-hearted. And I can understand that because I love to watch the Waltons too in Little House on the Prairie, but he's got into a habit of sitting there 
there on the couch with his wife and they're watching a little house on the prairie and they they love to squall at the end of each episode and i understand that but now when there's crappie to be caught well it's time to catch them you know the secret with a jig there's a lot of different ways to work a jig but one of the best ways to work it is to make it look alive it's not alive so in this situation these fish are about two feet deep so what i'm doing is just twitch 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 letting the jig go back up under the float straight below the float twitch 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 they can't stand it folks when you put that in front of a crappie they can't absolutely cannot stand it come on fishy 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 there he is there's another crappie almost in the same place folks that just goes to show if you catch one crappie if you catch a crappie in an area throw right back in the same spot quick as you can before they move because that's what they'll do they'll finally move and they'll do it pretty quick these fish right here are the movingest fish on the planet that's a black crappie nice one too fat healthy barely got him but that's good enough right there at the rim of the mouth if you notice that's not ripped the reason why is because i gently set the hook gently set the hook i really don't have a choice right here let's let him go is he gonna swim off go on boy go on you pretty thing go on there he goes i really don't have a choice because i'm using two pound test line and uh <clears throat> I love to use two pound test line when I'm twitching with a float, which I've mentioned before. It just does a lot better job. The only thing is, sometimes I'll chance it and I'll tie a loop knot right there. But remember, a loop knot's only about a 70% knot. In other words, it's only, when you tie it, it's only about 70% as strong as the line that you're using. So, Usually, I'll use a Palomar knot or a Trilene knot. Those are some strong, strong knots, folks. Let's see if we got another crappie right here. Just twitch it. That, remember, that tail's just going like this. Then it's settling back up under the float. Just leave it. You're not wanting to be in any, any hurry when you're fishing this way. Twitch it let it settle twitch it let it settle when i say twitch it the way they're biting it now is just like this little bitty short quick little twitches and then i'll just stop stop it that's what's been working and i've tried several different ways you gotta work these jigs different ways to figure out what they're wanting what or in other words what makes them strike twitch 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 whoa twitch 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 those fish has moved they moved on us the reason is because is, one reason is because there's no cover right there. None at all. These fish is just milling around. That's all they're doing. Milling around, that's the term that I use. They're just moving around. So we'll move around with them. They, there's another one right there, folks. Another one. Hold him, size eight hook, hold him. That's not a bad fish right here. Ain't no giant, but it ain't a bad crappie. Not at all. It seems like they're biting a lot better now that the sun's starting to come out. 
heat the water up just a little. I mean, we've had some bad, bad weather. Come on in here, you pretty thing. Ooh. Look at there, folks. You have to handle them real, real careful right here. If you're going to release them, they're little jaws right here where they hinge. When you grab them like that, it's fine. But you have to do it in a gentle way. Because if you don't, if you break this right here, you'll keep that fish from feeding. You'll actually kill him. If you'll notice, a lot of times when I let them go or when y'all let them go, they'll shake their little head, then they'll go on. The reason they're doing that is to get those little, that joint right there back uh, in place. But, see, that one there didn't shake his head. I handled him, you know, very, very gentle. I should do that every time. I handle him real gentle anyway, but it don't take much to uh, sort of hurt their little jaws <laughs> enough to where they have to shake their head to get, get that jaw back in place. I mean, they are really, really fractious when it comes to their mouth. I just wanted to mention that, but yep, the way I'm getting on the bite is twitch, twitch, twitch. Let that let that jig settle. I mean, I'm not moving it, but about that far every time. See, look, and I'm leaving it alone. But like I've mentioned, this is an an outstanding little twitch bait. This is what I call twitching for crappie twitch 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 let it settle simple little way to get that strike and sometimes it won't work sometimes it takes a steady retrieve even with a float to get the bite very important to try different things y'all boys catching this fish down there huh yeah I got some snuff you want dip the snuff? They. Oh my goodness. That crappie was real close to the bank. Most of them's been out there pretty good piece. I don't know if that means anything. I know one thing. I, <laughs> I caught a crappie close to the bank. I mean, he wouldn't, he wouldn't off 10 feet. That's a pretty good black crappie. Quit, quit, quit. Caught one white crappie, but he wasn't very big. Beautiful fish right there. Let's let him go. Go on back. Right by the bank. There he is. Oh, that's a good one. darn good one well no he ain't as big as I thought he was folks but he's fighting <laughs> he's fighting and yep there he is another black crappie that fish eat that bait I changed to a pink slab tail bait bait pink and white caught that fish I know one thing they sure are healthy I've mentioned that this year they are real healthy let's let him go right here in this in these weeds and watch him see if he can find his way now nope, there he is I thought he just made it let me touch his tail come on boy there he goes <laughs> he didn't know where he was he was disoriented well, folks, we ended up catching quite a few crappie. The bite's over with. Uh, the morning bite is all I had. I had about an hour and a half, and that was it. I'm going to say this. God bless each and every one of y'all. Try this technique because it will work, especially for finicky crappie. Small baits, light jig heads, there's no doubt about it. 
God bless each and every one of y'all. Thank y'all for all the great comments. Everything y'all do for this channel. Hey. Woo wee. Hey, man. And remember, go fishing when you can, because it's good for you.